Aloha. Things have calmed down a little bit. We had an excitement about an hour ago. Cynthia noticed that Hanu, our dinghy, was not on its cradle on the back of the boat. And uh, fortunate, it had just fallen off. The uh, ring that holds it in the stern of the dinghy had broken off, so it did the whole um, thing that tightens it down fell. But uh, we had to go rescue Hanu, which was full of water at that point because we had the drain plug out. But in the meantime, we went and fetched it. And we go right here. You can see Hano right there being towed behind our boat now. These yellow straps did not work. They didn't want to hold up anything. So we're going to have to grab those anyway. That's the story of Hanu, who almost got away. Aloha! We are Sava, Cynthia, and Alex, along with our two dogs, Lucy and Shadow. We're traveling America's Great Loop, a 6,000-mile North American waterway from Florida to Canada and back down via the Mississippi. Follow us on this journey on our boat called Mahalo. So in part one, as you can see, we came down from the Nanakook River from Blades, and uh, part two... We're going to make it uh, partially up the uh, Chesapeake Bay. But then a storm started to roll in, as you can see here. And uh, we exited into the Chesapeake Bay uh, from the Nanticoke River. And right about here, we lost Hano, as we can see in this video right here. We were speeding up because we saw the storm approaching. So we went about 20 miles an hour. But then as, um, as the waves increased, um, I decided to slow down. And uh, that is where the problem arose. As you can see here, all of a sudden, the, uh, the water started going over the swim platform. And the left, um, I should say, the uh, port side hook came undone. Um, obviously this is um, my problem because I should have fastened it better. I thought it was very tight. I ratcheted it tight. But with a wave coming up the back, it lifted the boat, giving it, you know, floating basically away from the hook. And uh, I probably should have used like uh, more of a carabiner type of um, a latch or something like that. All the same, this is where all things started going wrong. Needless to say, we weren't paying attention. The security camera here is the only thing running. We were so busy trying to fight the waves that um, we only saw this afterwards when we pulled this uh, the uh, SD card and actually looked at the video. But then a moment later, you can see um, that uh, the dinghy actually, Hanu, gets pulled into um, the Chesapeake Bay. And there you see it right there. And uh, there's just nothing we can do at this point. I mean, you can see the video. It just goes over the transom, fills up, and it's just too much weight. Uh, before we know it, um, the dinghy is uh, filled more and more and totally goes underwater. Um, and then there it goes. It just, it, uh, it just breaks free. Oddly enough, Cynthia looks back a minute later after it got um, away from us and actually notices Hanu floating away behind us. So we make an about um, and uh, try to rescue Hanu. And um, here you can see her getting uh, captured with a pole. And then we tie her up and uh, tow her behind us. With the weather approaching, we had to get to safety. That's why we were going faster. And uh, we were still very concerned because the waves were getting bigger and bigger and the, wind, the waves, um, pardon me, the wind was picking up. Um, we had no time to sit and try to pull this um, dinghy back up. Um, here you can see Alex, uh, he's gonna go in and actually try to get the um, water out of the dinghy so it doesn't weigh so much as we tow it behind the boat. Once he has most of the water out, we get Alex back on board uh, so that we can, uh, for safety reasons, obviously, because the waves are getting bigger um, and we wanted to get going. Um, so we let the um, 
the dinghy ride on its own behind. We figured, you know what, we see hundreds of dinghies towed behind boats. This should not be a problem at all. Uh, but we had no idea what kind of storm this was going to be. This was going to be one, uh, one of the biggest storms uh, people have seen in this area. The waves uh, got bigger and bigger, a good six feet or more. And next thing you know, the dinghy flips over, as you see here in slow motion. You can see um, it totally flipping over. Uh, we had now tied it up with a line, of course, and that was it. Um, once it flipped over, um, the outboard uh, got free and uh, sank to the bottom of the Chesapeake Bay. You can see Hanu on its back, and you can see the wind blowing really, really hard. Um, we tried to turn the boat around. For the next hour, uh, we went back and forth and at one point decided almost just to leave it. As you can see here, it was just not safe for us almost to, to make these turns sideways into these waves. And uh, if you're familiar with that, I mean, the boat is just leaning a good many degrees. I don't know how many, but it was just a wild, wild, wild time to be out there. Uh, but uh, eventually um, we do make a turn. Uh, the wind dies down and uh, we are able to uh, retrieve um, retrieve Hano and uh, just enough to tie her up uh, and to head further north but it was just a horrifying ordeal at this point with a small break in the uh, winds and waves uh, we uh, I went back and we quickly retrieved Hano uh, tied her just for safety she's uh, obviously hooked up wrong right now and we do stop later on to, <clears throat> to tie her on properly because we knew we we're going to lose her again here uh, with um, with the way we have her tied up. But we did tow her. The waves are still horrible. Um, and uh, we, we'd lost so much time that by this time you can see it's 7 o'clock. We had to go another two hours. Um, we finally just ended up anchoring in the, um, anchoring in the bay. On land, it wasn't any better. Uh, 80 mile an hour winds, just like we were experiencing. And here you can see lightning storms. Um, and uh, then you can, just showing you some of the damage that was experienced uh, during this um, two hour storm that came through with tornadoes. 84 mile an hour winds were clocked. Um, it, was a, it was a very long day. Uh, we finally ended at uh, nine o'clock here, as you can see, and anchored out, um, anchored out in the bay. Those familiar with the Chesapeake, you know there's lots and lots of crab pots. We did not want to dodge those in the dark, so we anchored right here uh, behind James Island, which really doesn't exist anymore, uh, in the middle of the bay. And that is our story of the disaster in the Chesapeake on day one of our journey. Thank you for joining us. Mahalo. Please join us again uh, next tomorrow as we continue. Please like, share, and subscribe as always, and we'll see you again as we continue our journey north.